Hi, my name is Robin and I work at the Thunder Bay District Health Unit. Thank you for agreeing to participate in our radon study in the communities of Oliver Papouge in Marathon. The goal of this video is to show you how to properly deploy the radon detector for the study. To begin, pick the level of the home where you will deploy the detector. The health unit recommends picking the lowest level of the home. This is the level where you spend at least four hours a day. It can be the basement. Please do not place the detector in a bathroom, a kitchen, a closet, the furnace room, or in a crawl space. So next, remove the detector from the bag. Once you remove from the bag, please do not remove the sticker or interfere with the plastic housing around the detector in any way or it will invalidate the results. There is a number on the detector. Please write that number and the date that you deploy the detector on the data tracking sheet that comes with the kit. Next, you want to place the detector. You can place the detector at least three feet from the floor with at least 20 centimeters of airflow around the detector. You can hang the detector and mount it on the wall with mounting pipe. The detector must stay undisturbed for at least 91 days. In your kit, you'll find a sticker that you can place on a calendar to remind you of the end date for the test. At the end of 91 days, place the detector in the baggie that's included in your kit. Seal the bag and mark the end date on the data tracking sheet. Return the data tracking sheet and the detector to the health unit. The reminder email will tell you where to drop it off. All of the detectors will be sent away for analysis and you will receive results within two weeks through email. If the radon levels in your home exceed the recommended levels, you will receive a phone call from a public health inspector. Thank you for your participation in the study. If you have any questions, please call the health unit at 625-5900 or toll free at 1-888-294-6640. Thank you.